in this machine learning class we will see the last part of future subset selection that is part 3 here we will see the overall future selection process and in previous class we already uh, seen that the issues in high dimensional data key drivers of future selection so in future selection future relevance and future redundancy were there and the measures of future relevance and redundancy we have completed these things in our previous class itself and in today's class we will see detail about overall future selection process there are four steps in the future selection process the subset generation subset evaluation stopping criterion and result validation after that the another topic is future selection approaches so here again four approaches there filter approach wrapper approach hybrid approach and embedded approach so we will see all those things in today's class overall future selection process uh, here we are going to select the subset of futures in the overall data set right and there are four steps there uh, in this future selection process first one is generation of possible subset okay and second one is subset evaluation stop searching based on some stopping stopping criterion and validation of result okay that is the full data set will be given to subset generation and the output will be subset okay future subset right and that future subset that is selected future subset will be given to subset evaluation that is the selected set will be evaluated and the goodness of subset will be given to stopping criterion okay the evaluated result will be given to stopping criterion and if the stopping criterion accept that result then the result will be validated otherwise it will go again to subset generation the first one is subset generation uh, here the search procedure which ideally should produce all possible candidate subset so in a very big data set it will produce all possible subset okay and for selecting this subset different approaches are there the first one is search may start with empty data set and keep adding features okay start with empty and keep adding one by one okay so this is called as forward selection and the second one is search may start with full set and remove the features one by one okay so this is called as backward elimination so with full set it will remove one future by another and the third one is start with both the ends starting end and remove uh, final end and it removes the add and remove the features simultaneously okay so this is called as bidirectional selection adding and removing will happen simultaneously so there are three different approaches in future subset generation the first one is forward selection second one is backward elimination and third one is bidirectional selection the selected subset will be evaluated uh, based on the comparison uh, between the previous best performing subset and this is called as evaluation criteria evaluation means the selected subset will be compared with the previous best subset okay and this is called as evaluation if the new subset performs better then replace the new one with the existing one existing subset that is the existing subset will be replaced with new subset and this cycle of subset generation and evaluation uh, will continue till the predefined stopping criterion is fulfilled okay when the uh, selection is completed until it reach the stopping criterion okay some of the commonly used stopping criterions are first one the search completes search completes means the search will complete till the end of data set and the second one is some given bound is reached that means some specified number of iterations will get reached okay suppose uh, the iterations we can fix in the program itself if it reach the uh, required iterations then we can stop and third one is subsequent addition of the future is not produced the better subset okay at the end the subset is not producing the better 
that is the selected subset is not uh, satisfied then we can stop and fourth one the sufficiently good subset is selected okay then also we can uh, stop the criteria that is stop the selection process the selected subset will be validated uh, there are two types first one is it may be either validated against the prior benchmark are by some experiments we can validate by some experiments when come to supervised learning the accuracy of learning model may be performance parameter considered for validation so the performance parameter uh, we need to take for validation okay here the accuracy of model uh, using the subset derived is compared with the some other benchmark algorithm that is accuracy of some other uh, very best algorithm that is best performed algorithm okay this is supervised learning when come to unsupervised learning the cluster quality is the parameter for validation right and next we will move to feature selection approaches okay there are four types of approaches for feature selection next first one is the filter approach wrapper approach hybrid approach and embedded approach we will see these things one by one the first one is filter approach so in filter approach the subset is selected based on some statistical measures that is from the very big data set the selected that is the required features will be selected by using some testing technique testing technique okay here uh, there is no learning algorithm for uh, evaluating the goodness of the feature selected that is the best feature selected okay so for that for evaluating those things we need to do some statistical test so some of the popular statistical tests are pearson correlation information gain test fisher score test anova test chi square test uh, like t test and f test etc so these are some of the statistical test for selecting the best features from the data set the second one is wrapper approach so in the wrapper approach the identification of best future subset is done by using the induction algorithm as a black box okay here the full future set will be given to the black box okay this is called as black box black box here the learning algorithm is also attached inside the black box hence it is called as induction algorithm induction algorithm that means the algorithm is inside the black box hence it is induction algorithm okay the future selection algorithm searches for good futures that is good future subset by using induction algorithm okay so this will select the best futures okay which is suitable for our problem and every candidate subset the learning model is trained and the result is evaluated by running the learning algorithm okay so the future subset selection generation of subset and it will produce the future subset and the learning algorithm will use this as training data training the model okay if the model evaluates the best result then we will get the performance as output otherwise uh, it will go back to generate the new subset of data okay so this procedure is called as selecting best subset and for, uh, for fine tuning we can use the optimal feature subset the optimal feature subset is used to fine tune the performance of the learning model right here the wrapper approach is very expensive because the learning algorithm is attached inside the selection process itself and the result will be very much superior when compared to all other approaches the third one is hybrid approach hybrid approach is the combination of filter approach and the wrapper approach that means it accepts all the advantage of filter approach and wrapper approach that means the hybrid approach uses that statistical test for selecting the best subset and 
it also having the learning algorithm for selecting the final best subset among the best subset okay that means by using the statistical test we can select some of the subset of uh, futures futures from the data set and the learning algorithm which is also used to to select the best among the selected subset right and the last one is embedded approach uh, the embedded approach is similar to wrapper approach because it is having induction algorithm in inside the black box itself okay but it is also having the classification algorithm simultaneously that is future selection and classification everything will be done in the learning algorithm that is in the selection process itself okay so this is embedded approach that is the classification is embedded into future selection right so far we have seen the overall future selection process and the future selection approaches in future selection process there are four steps and future selection approaches also four different approaches that to select the best subset that is future subset from the whole very big data set whole very big data set and up to this we have completed our second unit and from the next class we will move to third unit thank you